everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we are doing Gemini's private eye reading for the month of August, 2021. In this message, we're first gonna tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck, get an overview of the energy that we're going to be tuning into. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper with the traditional deck look into what's challenging this for you then we are going to dive even deeper into your person's energy we are going to look into what their true intentions are moving forward how they feel about this connection how they feel about you at this time gemini what will their next steps be moving forward and any advice guidance from spirit I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Gemini, what we can see for you guys for the month of August 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Gemini Spirit. What does Gemini need to see for the month of August? I feel like this is, sorry about that guys. I feel like this is definitely a new connection, a new love interest. For a lot of you, this is going to be within the first three to six months of this connection. And I feel here, your person is a little bit resistant to opening up here, Gemini, okay? And to be honest, here i honestly feel a mirroring energy with release your ex okay you may need to let go of some things from the past that you're still holding on to so let's take a little bit deeper in look into these energies here gemini for you please keep in mind guys the messages here on youtube are general they're not going to resonate every time with every person it's really about the title there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you for information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, it's all linked below in the description box. And Gemini, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. At a crossroad. At a crossroad. Decisions, decisions, two of swords, energy. This is also being closed off, being guarded. A lot of times in this card, in a traditional rider weight deck, it's a lady holding her arms across her chest. And a lot of times this will signify being closed off, um, guarding your heart. Now this may be you, Gemini, this could be your person, this could go both ways. Three of Pentacles, Star. You bring, you bring peace, you bring hope to this person. I feel like you, they also see you as very stable here, Gemini very balanced or at least heading that way we're going to clarify all of this energy here in a minute but i definitely feel an energy of a deep connection here maybe you guys aren't even able to understand or contemplate i feel here one of you has a deeper understanding of what this connection is than the other okay so gemini you're coming out as the three of pentacles eight of cups i feel like this is an energy of you wanting to work together with this person wanting to come together but again there's something that you're needing to release that you're needing to leave in the past for some of you, this could actually be a connection, but for most of you, I feel like this is holding on to some sort of fear, okay? Some sort of um, 
trauma that maybe happened in your relationship in the past, for instance. Maybe in the past, in every relationship, you were always cheated on. And so you have this implication in your mind that every person cheats, every man or woman cheats. That's not necessarily true. There's people out there that play the field and do their thing. There's people that don't do that. There's people that are open and honest about that. There's people that are not. Okay. There's people that wouldn't even dare to think about indulging that way when they're in a relationship. So that's just an example of how you can close, close your mind to opportunities um, because of outdated thinking. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, Gemini. Your person here is coming out of the Six of Pentacles and the Star. Six of Pentacles and the Star. So this is an energy of balance, okay? Of wanting to work together, of coming together. I also feel like you give this person hope for the future, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini clarifying this three of pentacles with the eight of cups. We have the five of pentacles in the reverse with the temperance. The first thing that comes to my mind in the five of pentacles is definitely a signifier of this is a fear of abandonment, a fearing that this fear that this person is going to leave you. definitely going to be something that's going to need to be addressed here gemini for sure okay i feel like your person is wanting to come forward and offer you a new abundant opportunity for the future they see a future with you gemini but they're waiting maybe this is because of your reaction maybe this is because of you holding back they feel a distance between you and them I do feel like they are wanting to come forward to express themselves, but as soon as they get the courage, the guts to do so, there's a disconnect that takes place. They're coming from a place of stability, and I do feel like this person wants to work together. Taking some time to address this fear, Gemini, is going to be important, okay? Some of you, it is having to do with maybe being cheated on or left behind. Some of you, it's going to have to do with th this person leaving. I don't feel like they are. I feel like this person sees a future with you, Gemini. And I also feel like that has already been expressed. Okay. There is an energy of needing to accept okay meaning to accept so what do i mean by that accept the position that you're in at this time gemini that you are maybe having a little bit of a fear or reluctancy to move forward with this person because of things that have happened in your past i also feel here that there is an energy of maybe hiding not coming forward with how they feel completely because of this reluctancy so understand that if you feel a distance from this person, they're guarded because they feel like you're guarded. There is a lot of mirroring energy coming through here. Four of Wands, Seven of Swords here, Spirit. Please clarify. Mm -hmm. Clarifying this Four of Wands with the Seven of Swords is the Ace of Swords with the Four of Swords. So again, I feel like the Seven of Swords is resembling that guarded energy. This person isn't coming forward and I feel like it's not really hiding. We're going to look a little bit deeper into the energies right now and see what this person's true intentions are. But I feel like they're more guarding their heart because of the same reason, Gemini, they don't want to get hurt again. They don't want to experience something from their past again. And that's why they're holding back. So let's pull out another deck here, Gemini. And dig a little bit deeper into these energies here for you. If you found this message has been helpful, 
that's resonating with your situation so far, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Let's first tap into this person's true intentions. Moving forward here, Gemini, and see um, what we can see for you. There's an energy of keeping things light. <clears throat> Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Okay. Keeping things light, keeping things friendly, Gemini. Okay. There is an energy of wanting to work together, of wanting to come together. Okay. Um, and also the Six of Cups is that past life connection energy. However, there is an energy also coming forward of overindulgence. And maybe this is overindulgence in substance. Maybe this is overindulgence in food, money, greed. The devil and the nine of swords, whatever this overindulgence, whatever this addictive behavior, this toxic behavior pattern, this negative energy that's coming through here, this person is very stressed, very worried about this affecting this connection. It's probably something that's gotten in the way of past connections. And I feel this is definitely how they're feeling about this. They're very worried about this. I feel here, Gemini, that this needs to be addressed at some point. But if this is something that they're hiding, it's not very easily addressed. So for, insta for instance, maybe this is... Um, some, they always go gambling every weekend. And... Even though it, right now they're, it's okay because they have extra money, sometimes that could be a hindrance moving forward. And maybe just talking about that, maybe finding other things that can replace that activity. Not all the time, but sometimes that will be important. And that's just, um, that's just a example of working through a person's traits you know, trauma patterns, because let's face it here, Gemini, we all have our own issues. We're not perfect. Nobody here on this planet is perfect by any means. I don't care what they say. What you have to come to the determination of here, Gemini, is if this deep connection is felt, if you feel a deep connection with this person, that there are things that can be worked through together. And it's a lot easier to work through some of these issues when you have a supportive team or person on your side. How this person feels about you, Gemini, is they see you as very stable. They see you as a very solid person. Okay. I also feel like you make them feel very uplifted. You make them feel very happy. Okay. But I also feel that they would see you as keeping them accountable. Okay, keeping them um, on their toes when it comes to maybe this behavior pattern. And so maybe that is why they uh, try to hide that situation, whatever it is that they're doing. Okay. There is an energy here, Gemini, of wanting to work together, wanting to work together, wanting to come together. But I feel here you both are guarded and you're both guarding parts of you that I feel here if you were to open up to the other person that they would be able to help you through those experiences. So what will the next steps be moving forward here, Spirit for Gemini? Please and thank you. Okay, it's going to take time, Gemini. It's going to take time to heal these. This five of pentacles keeps coming out. So this tells me that for a lot of you, this is a fear of abandonment. Okay. A fear of loss, fear of betrayal. But I do feel like there is a deep connection that's felt here. Okay. The lover's energy is coming out. 
So what I can see here, Gemini, focusing on what makes you happy, okay, what brings you happiness. If this person brings you happiness, if they make you feel solid, secure, stable, but maybe there is something gambling or overspending. Understand that by being supportive of this person and just being practical about working through those pattern behavior patterns or experiences, but you need to tread lightly and don't try to control. Okay. If this isn't something that you can just accept for the time being, help this person through then I feel the best thing to do, Gemini, is just focus on healing, okay? Um, the saying goes, if you can't help somebody, don't hurt them. So by trying to control, by trying to, you know, oh, this needs to be fixed, we need to address this issue, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem that's going to cause this person to withdraw more. So Gemini, let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward in this situation. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we'll take a look into the hidden energies a little bit deeper. What comes out there? We'll see what they truly want from this connection. Okay. What is it that they truly desire here? We'll see what the next steps will be. The outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. This is an amazing reading, okay? I do see abundance coming in, prosperity. I feel here there is a deep connection uh, between you and this person, an extremely deep connection. You guys probably uh, don't even understand why you guys are so magnetically attracted to one another. We have the uh, king and queen of the ocean. This is the emperor and empress of this deck. Okay, this is masculine and feminine energy. A lot of times this will be that twin flame connection. I feel here that you and this person are coming together very slowly but very surely. You are helping each other through this healing process, okay? Be open. Allow this person space to heal, Gemini, Ace of Swords. When the opportunity is presented, okay, when the time comes, there is a need here to have a conversation to be able to get on the same page. Um, I feel like it will present itself here in the month of August, maybe moving into September. Get clear on what you want to say to this person and how you want to say it. So that way you guys can have a conversation, get on the same page and move forward positively. I do feel, Gemini, part of what needs to be expressed is your own traumatic experience, your own issue of why you're guarding your heart. And I feel here with this five of pentacles, I feel like that's channeling your energy, Gemini. I feel like that's a fear of abandonment, a fear of somebody leaving you. Um, so that definitely needs to be addressed. And a lot of times, guys, that's not something that can be addressed just over some videos online or something. That's something that you would probably need a mentor or a guidance counselor, something along those lines to help you through that energy. Um, so if that is resonating for you, by all means, reach out. I know that you've probably heard from several people, better help is a, a wonderful option to get help, mental health, help, counseling, that sort of thing. Um, so just check into it. There's a lot of different options. Gemini, your 
soul journey message coming out for this reading is denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. It is time to open up and be completely honest with yourself in the present moment. Buried fears and resentment do not die. They merely fester and cause disease. Only by bringing them to the surface and examining them in the light of day with love and compassion will you banish them from your life. It may bring you pain and heartache to reflect upon these situations again, but you're only giving them power by suppressing them. The dangerous seeds of denial will grow and spread and manifest unless you uproot them, examine them and release them. This is the only way to become whole and healthy. Learn not to bury painful emotions in the first place. Deal with them as they come and take all the time you need to neutralize them without hiding. Your soul wants to live honestly and authentically in the now. Don't hinder it by placing emotional landmines on its path. Gemini, you're in a position at this time where you have a very deep connection that's being presented to you, okay? A lot of you, this is very new, so you might not even understand what I'm talking about. But if you were magnetically attracted to this person and just felt a deep connection instantly, that's an indicator that there's some a deeper meaning here, okay? Take your time with this connection because if this is resonating for you, this person is going to have a significant impact on your life moving forward. Again, again, I will always say, guys, trust the freaking process. I do honestly and truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And even though we have free will and all these other things, there are certain things in our life that are preordained no matter what we decide to do. So let's get a four truths message. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Always do your best. Practice makes the master. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. Practice makes the master beautiful, beautiful. So, Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.